It was an historic day for the transgender community here in Kansas City as hundreds of people took to the streets for a trans pride march. Leslie Aguilar was there. A diverse crowd with one unified message. Hundreds took to the streets to raise awareness and spread love. I love that there's so many people here. Tanith Cartman identifies as non-binary. I have a different gender identity than what people are normally hearing about. You know, she and her and he and him and my pronouns are they and their. And so when I heard about this, I got really excited because normally we kind of get swept under the rug in terms of pride celebration. Cartman's friend Kevin says he can't understand a lot of things about the struggles of being trans, but wants to show he cares. Doing what I can here to be supportive and an ally and kind of helping amplify the voice, not talking over it. Among the crowd were families like Christy Reed and her four children. I believe that exposure equals acceptance. So I believe it's important from a very young age to teach them that you know, to love and accept people and to not judge people for who they are. One of her daughters identifies as genderqueer. If you have nothing nice to say, say, don't say anything at all. The crowd made stops along their march to hear people share their struggles and stories. You're thinking you're the only person in the world that, that is suffering from this, and then you find out that there's hundreds here today and, and thousands all across the, the country. They hope to make this march a tradition and slowly turn Kansas City into a more accepting place for trans people. Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.